thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Anima. And uh, uh, just wanted to um, thank all the panelists. And uh, I saw quite a few things. And I don't know, we just have another 15 minutes. Uh, so I'm not sure whether we have enough time uh, for uh, uh, Q&A. But uh, several uh, discussions, uh, Simon especially, I think uh, uh, probably we should have a, a separate uh, discussion itself with Simon. Uh, more importantly, because uh, uh, just in terms of, I was just going through his uh, classification of the good country index. And uh, we've and on culture specifically, India uh, he's ranked. Uh, I mean, uh, the rank has come out as 55 based on that criteria, and um, that's something which uh, uh, we'd like to have a discussion. Even on the soft power index, uh, we are about 38 or so. At CSP, our goal is to be in the top three by uh, 2030. That's what uh, uh, we're working for. Um, and, and, and our entire endeavor is to be there in the top three. And it's a very interesting, uh, uh, it's a very interesting thing. So normally you want to work for, um, you, you want to work for a goal, uh, which is personal. Like I want to become an Olympic champion or I want to become something. And that's a personal goal. But here at, at the center for soft power, we have a goal for the country. Uh, and, and, and therefore, uh, working for something uh, uh, which is not in your control directly and, uh, and trying to achieve that uh, through uh, various uh, programs and various initiatives and how do we achieve that. And, and, and actually, when uh, I, I'll just share my screen. Uh, when we set out uh, uh, our center in... Um, Is my screen visible? Yes. yes. Uh, the presentation? Yes. Ah, okay, great, thank you. Uh, just one slide. Uh, just wanted to, uh, uh, as we conclude, I just wanted to share how this journey uh, has started. Uh, it started in December uh, of 2017, um, when uh, uh, there was a presentation that was made on, on, on soft power in a conference in Goa. And subsequently, the Center for uh, Soft Power was launched in June 2018. Uh, and some of the points that we really discussed at that presentation are, are mentioned below. And I'm just giving that, just to give a framework as to how, uh, what were the goals and what we have achieved and where we are today, um, uh, you know, two years, down, uh, two years down the road and 2018, 2019 and two and a half years uh, down the road where we have and what we have actually achieved. So, um, so we actually launched a center for soft power in June, 2018. And this center was actually uh, join, uh, jointly launched in collaboration with the uh, India Foundation. I'm grateful to Rama Dabji to actually, uh, who, who was agreed uh, and we launched this as a joint center. Uh, and then uh, we conceptualized uh, and, 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 and cu curated uh, and, and it was organized by India Foundation but the conference uh, itself was conceptualized by us and it was co-curated with them. And the conference, uh, the first time uh, the there was a conference on soft power. This was the very first time. Uh, and it's, it's important to understand the trajectory of uh, uh, India's efforts uh, in, in this space. And, and, and therefore, uh, this is a very important milestone, uh, so to speak. Uh, since then, we had multiple events uh, on our own and in collaboration with India Foundation, multiple events we have done uh, in, in, in 2019. Uh, but uh, one again, one uh, significant uh, marker is that we have launched a digital platform called softwaremac.com. And, uh, uh, and, and this was launched last uh, May, April, May. And in a very short span of time, We've been able to uh, reach out to number of a number of uh, Indophiles, number of people who are consuming our culture, number of people who are practicing our culture, who are collectors of our culture, uh, who believe in our culture, uh, and, and we have reached out. We have engaged with them. Uh, we have done interviews, and so it's been a fantastic ride. Uh, uh, all this under the uh, under the uh, uh, stewardship of uh, Vijay Lakshmi Vijay Kumar. 
and the director uh, and the editor for the magazine itself is Aparna and, and some of you must have interacted with her. Then we had two more milestones, which are very, very important milestones, is that last year and this year, we made two movies uh, uh, on and uh, celebrating yoga and, and, and two phenomenal movies. And both of them have reached a, a, a million mark and uh, in a very short span of time. And, and, and this again, we are going to continue. In fact, for this soft power festival itself, we wanted to uh, 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 make a movie, but we could not because of COVID but we would be doing a series of movies and, and that's another important initiative that we are taking. Then this uh, festival, uh, a festival for Indophiles was talked about in, in, in the same conference in 2017. And today I'm, I'm, I'm immensely happy that this soft power uh, festival for soft power, this for Indophiles, uh, Namaste 2020 was done. And this again is, is, is something, something uh, extraordinary. I'll just tell you some statistics just to get, for, get you to a sense of what is that, that the center for software has achieved. We had 147 speakers, 11 ambassadors, high commissioners and heads of ICCR, 30 plus sessions, 35 foreign speakers, non-Indian speakers out of the 147 and uh, from across the globe. And we had uh, uh, several spiritual uh, speakers also. So this is the kind of reach that this particular uh, festival has had. And then we had talked about uh, a, a NASCOM kind of a organization called Network of Indian Cultural Enterprises. Uh, this was, uh, we talked about this in, 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 in 2017. And, and, and today I'm very happy to inform you that this company has been incorporated. We're working on it. But more importantly, we have a co-founder who has joined us, Mr. Sanjay Anathram, and we have incubated this. We have and, and we have given a grant of one crore rupees for this company. And now it's going to be it's hived off as a separate company. And this company is a very unique company because it is a it is a combination of uh, a Thai meets Kairetsu, an angel network uh, that meets NASCOM. So it's a combination for cultural enterprises. And you will see that this is ultimately going to transform uh, the economic aspects of our culture. And, and we talked about the angel network and a soft power fund. And these two will again be led by NICE. And we will see a global network of investors who will be investing in these small uh, boutique uh, companies. Now, what is left for us? These are the, four, the, the last three aspects are still left for us as an agenda. One, we're talking about the business plan. We need to have a business plan. If we want to become a soft superpower by 2030, we need to have a clear articulated plan. We are already talking to a few consulting companies to see how we can do a cultural mapping constituency wise. Every constituency, every MP's constituency, we can have a cultural mapping. What are the strengths in that constituency? It could be craft, it could be any aspect of our culture. And once we have that, we also map the global demand on the 50 top 50 uh, cities uh, uh, in the world as to uh, suburb wise, uh, you know, how many yoga studios are there, how many uh, restaurants are there, how many uh, craft uh, stores are there. We can have a dashboard of what is the consumption of a culture. So we, this is something which is a research intensive aspect. We are uh, working on this. And the other two aspects are advocacy related. One is that we need to have a government has a concept of mudra, which is encouraging small, um, small enterprises. We need to think about Indians outside of India also and encourage them because all the cultural enterprises are small in number, are small and boutique. And therefore we need to treat them as our own. And we need to have some kind of a mudra global wherein we are able to finance these cultural enterprises around the world. If it's a restaurant in Palo Alto, if it's a craft shop in Cape Town, whatever be the business, we need to see that we need to reach out and, and finance them. And lastly, this is a dream that we need to create a smart city where all the crafts um, are, uh, you, you know, crafts from, from all over India send some families and, and we create a, a, a city which has the economies of scale, whether it's manufacturing, whether it's in design, whether it's in customer access, it can be a, a near a port. So people can come and have a complete exposure to our crafts. And, and, and then the, 
today Bali is booming because it's a combination of several things. But ultimately, the art, craft, and design of, of Bali speaks because they have been able to constantly contemporize. And that's what we need to do. So these are the two things which are in the advocacy side, which is not in our hands. But in all the other aspects, we are constantly trying to do. And we have a fantastic team, Vijalakshmi, uh, Vijalakshmi Vijay Kumar, and uh, uh, Aparna, Varsha, Arunima, Hema, all of them are doing a phenomenal job. And they've given us a fantastic uh, uh, conference. So I'm very, very grateful. And uh, uh, lastly, I'd like to thank our partners, uh, ICCR, Vineji has come and he spoke. Uh, and unclined uh, about Indian soft power. So I'm grateful to him and for the partnership. The kind of cooperation that we have been receiving from this government, uh, from uh, from all the embassies, all the ambassadors is, is, is extraordinary. So I would like to thank all of, uh, uh, of all the uh, partners, Yasfiasa also, and uh, all the speakers for today. Um, uh, thank you very much. It's been, it's, it's been a wonderful ride over the last uh, four weekends. Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Akka. I, I, I hand it over to you.